Hey y'all, Jim Panky here with a bluegrass jam session standard that's been around for eh, quite a few years now. I just got back eh, last month from a bluegrass festival up in Nashville, Spigma. If you haven't done that, you ought to. And I know I heard this song played several times while I was there. It's called Carolyn the Teenage Queen, and the Lonesome River Band made this thing popular, and you might as well, heck, you better have a kickoff for it. And so I'm just going to walk you through it. This thing is made up of stuff that you know. I promise you. There's a couple of things that I do that I'm going to show you that are kind of neat, and it'll it'll add some punch without having to do anything really super tricky, okay? I know you can do this. All right, let's get into this tune. But first, first, if you like this sort of content and you enjoy learning these tunes and you appreciate what I'm doing, maybe hit the like button, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. That would help a lot. And if you want to get notifications, ring that bell. All right, now on to this tune. This tune starts out with very similar kind of thing as Foggy Mountain Breakdown. You could start it out with... I add a fifth string, okay? I add... Just that. And then hit the first string. Hammer. Forward roll. Five, two, one, five. So first string. And then a Cripple Creek slide. And then you're going to do that slide again. So I'm just sliding from two to three. So it's three, two, one, five. So here we are up to that point. So what I'm doing here is... Three, two, three, one. But I'm not letting that I'm not letting that three ring. I am muting it. So I'm gonna go. So I just let up on it a little bit. So that really emphasizes that note. So three, two, pull off, three, one, and then three, open, forward roll. And then does that lick again, slide. Third string open. And you're going to slide from two to five, forward roll. Four, three, one, five, three, one. And here's a, a C lick that we've done in the past. And it works like, I'll play it. So it's a hammer. Four, two, three, one. Notice I'm leaving the first string open. You don't have to. You can put that down if you want. It'll sound like. So you either way. And then we're going to do a, leaving that index down, we're going to do a pull off on the third string. So three, two, back over here to the fourth string. So three, two, four, one. So that lick sounds like, or if you put that finger down, either way, that finger down or up, practice it both ways, then that gives you a variation that you can use. Cool. All right. Let's keep, let's keep moving. And then we need a, we need a fill in lick on the end of this phrase because we're right to the end. So I change it just a little bit. I hit three. And then just a slide from two to five. No roll there. And then one, three, four, one, three. So let me play you that whole first half of this kickoff. So here we go.
Now you could kick that off again with that same walk up, but let's do something different this time. Real simple, four, three, two, with your thumb. So four, three, two, one, hammer, same. So that's the same as we did in the first part, but we've just walked into it different. And now we're gonna do a lick that I know I taught in it was a three for one video. And it's it's basically what I've taught is a 302 lick. It's just a standard G lick. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up to the fifth fret with our pinky and we're gonna slide from two to four. It's a forward and reverse roll. So three, two, one, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two Cripple Creek slides, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Pull off. And then we're gonna slide from three to five. Four, two, one, five, three, one. And then we're gonna grab that C shape partial. I'm not putting that finger down because I like that open D string ringing. Now you could do the same lick as we did in the first half, but I like to change it up. And so here's what we're gonna do. So that's hammer, two, three, one. And then I'm gonna come down here with my ring on the third fret. So three, two, three, one. But that three, we're gonna bend a little bit. And then the third string open. And on that first three, we're gonna mute it like we did, like we did in the first part of the song. But this time we're on the th So that lick sounds like. So let's go through the whole thing fairly slowly, and then then you you're gonna have a you're gonna have a cool break. All right, here we go. folks. Hey, thanks for checking in. Thanks for letting me help you learn the banjo. We'll see you real soon. Hope to see you at a jam. All right. See y'all.